Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I let you this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price. And in this situation, makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that the price has made a nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was yesterday at its lows and then where it all of a sudden closed today, any rational person would say, yeah, the, the bulls have definitely made a nice move. However, this leads to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it revolves around a single area. And what I'm going to use for that is this green line here and move this up here just so we don't have lines all over the place. And in my mind, the key level is $4.75. Why is $4.75 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is going to progress forward. The price is not going to go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not going to go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, Think about 475. Any sort of closes blow it, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, does something like this, and then starts to head back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this base of lows down here. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is going to do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that phrase, make progress as $1.75. What about areas of resistance? As it stands right now, it seems as though the key level of resistance is right up here, give or take around the 505 mark. I mean, you go through the history of the chart. You can see right there, there are some here, right there, and then today pretty much directly off of it. So right around 505 to 510, if you want to just call it a resistance zone. All in all, though, there's no doubt about it. Very nice move today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.